Okay, so I just got done eating. There's a little, uh, like a yakitori, like a fried sk skewer place. It's got all kinds of different meat. It's right by my apartment. I just found it somehow. There. But yeah, it's great. I just ate, ate there. It's what, the 7th, March 17th now. But uh, after that, I went by my convenience, local convenience store, and uh, to like water, they still have water, and it's like 8, 9 o'clock at night now. So. They're out of uh, like bathroom, like toilet paper and things like that. Doing, they're like got the road ripped up here. This wasn't like this like yesterday. And just a few like few hundred meters up from this, they were. Uh, look at that! I just said meters. My my European friends have got me on the metric system because <laughs> they correct me every time I use American system. How funny is that? But anyway, they had the road ripped up a few hundred yards from here yesterday, like really bad digging. So I wonder what that has to do, if that has anything to do with the quake. Okay, see the yellow sign? That's Kokoichibanya. It's like Japanese curry house. That's pretty much my radiation gauge. As long as Kokoichi is open as normal, we know everything's okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm outside kind of like a gas station. I get the sign. I know I'm not gonna be able to read this right, but I think it says Ko Atsu Gasu Se Suku Jo Sho Se Zo Sho. Basically, I think it, it says high pressure gas making location, kind of service location. So yeah. This car's lighting up getting gas, it looks like. Well, no, no, it looks like it. There is. But it looks like they're all taxis or service vehicles. So maybe this is actually like a like a taxi depot. Ah. Arobaito Bolshu. Bolshu? Bolshu. Not sure if I'm reading that all right. I think it says they're looking for uh, part time employees at the gas station. If I'm reading that correctly, at least. Is it Bolshu or Bolshu? Uh, I can't remember. Stuff, but still no paper towels. Can't find any paper towels or toilet tissue. I have like one roll left of like toilet paper and thankfully I have electronic toilet so I actually don't need any toilet paper really but it's still just nice to, still nice to have it. But I definitely need, would like some uh, just uh, kitchen towels. Okay, here's something I've been wanting to show just for random information. You can see a train up there, way in the distance. It's yellow stripe, and you can see like a little. Let me see, I got a finger right there. Down there. Yeah, that train just left. 
That's okay, Itabashi Station. There's several lines there. And obviously, that you can go in right over there. But then, okay, we're here. Of all, yeah, you can see how things are going on around here, by the way. And there's another station entrance. Looks like the book off is actually back open. They just closed. So, all right. So there's that station. So just walk with me here. There's a little stand. Osaka, beer, Odin, ah, Odin stand. Walk quickly because this will be a really boring video. If not, yeah, but still, like, here we are in central Tokyo. It's a coffee shop. It's like 10 o'clock at night now. So, you just, I mean, people at the coffee shop like normal. And this is Idabashi. This is, if there was a center of Tokyo, you could argue that this was it, at least in terms of train stations. Okay. Still walking, still walking. See all the cabs lined up on both sides. This is nothing but cabs. I assume because we're around Idabashi Station and it's cold um, and it's getting close to like last train time so I guess a lot of people are going to be pouring out of here in a bit so the cats are just waiting to catch them when they come out of the station to take them home I assume or either they're coming from like my area of town, which is uh, Kagurazaka. Maybe a little, you know, from the, the late nap night business party crowd that are becoming that it doesn't want to take the train. You'll see when you get up here what I'm talking about. Oh, crap, I still don't. No, I don't. Okay. Well, anyway, keep in mind how long we've been walking. And that I'm fixing to take a turn onto another road here and walk up it. Okay. And there's a, here's another station, but that's not another station. <laughs> It's in fact the same station. It goes underground all the way to where I showed you. Oh, but McDonald's is closed. I'm pretty sure they're usually 24 hours. Arcade is closed. My Sega arcade. Well, I talked to my buddy today who works in a restaurant in Shinjuku. And he said they were open. They just closed in earlier than normal. I think it's pretty much the case for everything around here due to the train. Like blackouts in the outer 
areas of the city. We've pretty much got to let people off early so they can get home before their train shuts down. Restaurant there is open till 5 this morning. And toll five <laughs> from now on toll five. Drunk salary, man. All right, that's normal. Oh, yeah, I wanted to point out something about the mask. I saw this crap on these articles. People in Japan wear masks all the time. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the earthquake or the uh, radiation. They wear masks when they're sick to keep other people from getting sick and to keep from getting sick. So yeah, besides a uh, lack of kitchen paper towels, some of the kind of like prepared, like daily prepared meals, and some businesses shutting down earlier than usual, so, only some, by the looks of it, uh, things are still pretty much completely normal here, just a little slower than usual. But, but yeah, still, still no panic to be found. All right, guess that'll do it for now. Later, everyone.